I have had over 350 professional jumps. I hold over 20 world records. You name it, I've jumped it since I started my career at eight years old. I am the greatest jumper of all time. My name is Robbie Knievel. And in my business, you gotta know what the f you're doing or you end up dead. He is a legend. He's did jumps as nobody else has ever done. You know, he jumped across the Grand Canyon, jumped over a train coming at him, jumped building to building. He made his own way. He was the ratings draw before American Idol. It was Robbie Knievel. He built up this tremendous empire chasing after his father's legacy. What ended up taking over his life was the booze, the trouble with the law. Robbie was drinking by the time he was 12 years old. Four and a half decades of it, nonstop. And it progressively got worse. I'm gonna be like you, Dad. It would only been a, the motorcycle jumping end of it would have been great, but it's not how it was. He was my favorite when I was little, and he's just now sort of coming back after like 20 plus years of being totally gone. The sad thing is that I think his father may have even been jealous of him when he made <laughs> the jumps. He still chases evil. In order for Robbie to come mainstream again with his jumping, at his age, is already a milestone. He's in his mid-50s. I think now that he has uh, quit drinking, uh, or at least I hope he has, that's certainly going to work in his favor because he's going to approach things a little more sane, I hope. Oh, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump ramps. I'm going to keep jumping, and I'm going to keep believing in we have to have the guts to pull the trigger, and you gotta head for that takeoff ramp at a high speed. My dad's passed away. I've carried the name on for so long, but there's only one Knievel. That's me, I'm like the last of the Mohicans.